Hey there and welcome to another edition of CodeSense Workshop. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to tie your Dyneema onto your shaft with a little trick to make sure that it is as strong as it can be. Very simple tutorial, all you need is a, is a knife, a something to cut on, a pair of pliers and a lighter. This is actually what makes Dyneema pretty much my go-to for shooting line. You can tie this on a boat, you can tie this anywhere. Um, you know, if you're using mono or cable, you need crimping pliers, crimps, it's a lot more complex. Tying Dyneema you, is really, really simple. It's quick and easy. First things first, if you're using thick 2 mil Dyneema, sometimes it's difficult to get through the hole on the back of your shaft. little trick is just to pull the, the sheath back a little bit, pull forward the inner core, Trim that core off, pull that back up and then you'll find that the outer sheath is actually past the inner core and a little bit thinner. Makes it easier just to bend back and if you roll that quickly you don't get a ball. Measure off about 30 centimeters of Dyneema, tie a simple overhand knot, then pass that through the back of your shaft. And then back in the same way where the line came out. Tighten it up a little bit. I like to start one finger space back from the recess. So I start with a knot, I pull a knot back to a finger space back. And now we're going to do the knot. You know, do two full loops round. Don't make them too tight because you're going to have to pass the line through. Two full wraps. And as you come round for the third one, you're going to pass this line. See on this side there's two and on this side there's three loops. You're going to come through and you're going to pass it through where there are three loops. Roll it gently, just to make it nice and neat. Tighten that up. Put your thumb through the, through the hole. Give it a tug. Now, what most guys do now is they, they tighten this knot back up to the bottom here then cut the this tag end off and burn it but what happens is when you do that you have a chance of burning this main line so what i like to do is i wet this give it a good soaking and then i pull this knot back it's a little bit difficult over where i've wetted it so now i've moved this knot over this section that is actually wet. I then trim it off, then fluff it up. Another handy tip is to use a jet lighter as opposed to a normal lighter. Th these lighters you can use in the wind so they operate well on a boat but more importantly they you can direct the heat away from the line which is also now wet. Get that little burn, round that off nicely. And now you can pull this back into position, give it a, a good tug to make sure it's all tight. And because you, you burnt this up here, you can actually inspect and see if there's any damage done to the line. When you've pulled this back down and then burn it over here, you can't see if you've actually damaged the line. And I suspect that that's where um, your knot actually fails is most of the time is if you've burnt this and you've compromised the line that's where it's going to break. So I like to just um, pull it back, I can see if there's um, be been any damage, any burn damage and if there is I can cut it and retie it. So that's a good little tip and then your knot should land up 
nice and neat just inside that um, bevel or just on top you want it somewhere between here and here on your on your shaft that's perfect so that's how you tie Dyneema onto your shaft and make sure that you don't burn your line I hope that this has been really helpful um, if you like this video please hit the like button if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell I try to get videos up every week or so so don't miss out thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video cheers